Hey, hello, good evening. Uh, today is 27th of October 2024, just past midnight. Uh, talking about vlog number 40, Diary of an Artist. So here it goes. I finished Mad Men the other evening, which was really a great series. The last two seasons were really amazing. I really enjoyed the series a lot. I also watched some episodes of a new series from Graham Hancock called Ancient Apocalypse, The Americas. Really interesting. They found many human footprints in different layers of soil, even before the time of the mammoths in the Ice Age in the north part of America. Another episode was about the statues of Eastern Ireland called Rapa Nui. I always found that a mesmerizing place. They dated nature back with a couple of thousands of years that weren't originated on that island, but being cultivated by humans. Another series I watched was the first episode from Mr. McMahon, Interesting, about WWF during the 80s and 90s in America, about wrestling. I want to continue with this series. I had a reasonably sleep, still coughing a lot. Today I was planning to take a flu shot at my doctor's office, but I'm still a bit under the weather, so I have to make a new appointment for that. I called them, but they are busy at the moment. I will call them again later on. In between I made some coffees while doing my internet routines. The other evening, I started with the fifth season from Game of Thrones again. I quit with the series some years ago, and I never finished it. I enjoyed watching the first three episodes of this season. Really, really great actors. Never a dull moment. There are eight seasons in total, so plenty of episodes left. Small chat about it with my father. He liked the series as well. He even read all of the books. I already saw some episodes from the fifth season, but I started all over again, just to refresh my mind. I was blown away with the ending of the fourth season with the Battle of the Giant. I never expected that outcome of the fight. Damn, that was really a thrill. I was writing an email to someone about reincarnation. I have written several books on new psychology seen via reincarnation, but also seen, free, seen via psychotic mindset, because I was wrong. Everything is temporary, temporarily, and universal love is everlasting. I was lost inside of turmoil for a long time. What? is a psychosis. How do you deal with such things? Not knowing about it, stuck inside mazes of delusion. You need to figure out things all by yourself, getting lost all the time. With every new step, you're getting more off track, a never ending cycle within fake designs of the mind. Learning about the afterlife and reincarnation really helped me out big time. It is strange to encounter when having episodes, all the steps taken in a never ending gaze of darkness and sadness. In a way, it is the same when being inside of universal love. Pyramids, again, only this time in positive vibrations. Learning about new steps inside of reincarnation. A copy of a copy of a copy, but then in universal love. Yesterday, I went out to the local venue in the, called the PX in Vallendam. There were some friends who played some music. It's called PX Songwriters Guild, and they celebrated their 15th anniversary. In total, there were six singers this evening. They all sang some own material, and even a cover from their musical hero. I must say they were pretty good actually. I never published, or they even published a new CD with all of the artists. I chatted a bit with people I know and even with a new fellow. He played in a, ball, a band called Left Side in the early 70s. My hometown of Vallendam is famous for their own sound. It's called Paling Sound or the translation Eel Sound, Dutch and English music. One of the more well-known sounds were from the Cats and BZN. Other bands are famous for the Dutch music, but there are new sounds rising as well. And the PX Songwriters Guild is a part of that new movement. Like Alaska, the band from Frank Bond, who also plays solo. Another musician I know is Jacob D. Edward. He has a really great voice with great, great lyrics, if I might say so. I know him from the art community called the Bruderij, from which I am a member. Only singers this evening, of other singers this evening were really great as well. Lucy Fabienne. Niels Buys, One Clueless Friend, and Roy de Smet. Great local artist, if I might say so. The last singer called Paul Boutaille sang a song in Dutch and is from Out of Time. All the other artists are from Vallendam. Alrighty, a small vlog this time. I would say you have a really, really great week, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.